Amelia Bedelia Tries Her Luck by Herman Parrish, with pictures by Lynn Apple. Amelia Bedelia was getting ready to go to school when crash! Oh no, what happened? She broke the mirror. I'm sorry, said Amelia Bedelia. Accidents happen, sweetie, said her mother. The important thing is that you are okay. At school, Amelia Bedelia told her friends about the accident. You're in trouble, said Clay. Breaking a mirror means seven years of bad luck. Seven years, said Amelia Bedelia. That's almost as long as my whole life. Even worse, said Rose. Today is Friday the 13th. Bad luck gets doubled today. That's 14 years, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll have bad luck forever. Amelia Bedelia, said Joy, you can change your luck. That's right, said Heather. My dad always says, see a penny, pick it up, all the day you'll have good luck. Have you heard that before? My parents like to say that. Amelia Bedelia picked up Penny. <laughs> Put me down, said Penny. Heather means a penny coin, not a penny person. At recess, the whole class tried to help Amelia Bedelia change her luck. They searched for a four-leaf clover. They looked for a lucky horseshoe. They tried to find a rabbit's foot. The playground didn't have any of those things. I'm sorry, Amelia Bedelia, said Clay. We struck out. You are out of luck. Amelia Bedelia made a plan. If she could not find luck, she would make her own luck. Two rabbit's feet, double luck. Twelve leaf clover, three times the luck. Four horseshoes, four times the luck. Amelia Bedelia's teacher, Miss Edwards, saw her drawings. She also saw that Amelia Bedelia was upset. Are you all right? asked Miss Edwards. No, I am all wrong, said Amelia Bedelia. She told Miss Edwards about breaking the mirror and her double bad luck. Amelia Bedelia, said Miss Edwards, today is my lucky day. Friday the 13th is the perfect day to talk about luck. The class listed lucky and unlucky things. They talked about bad luck and good luck. There were all kinds of questions. On the board is a really long word called superstitions. A superstition is something that someone thinks might be good luck or bad luck. Miss Edwards told the class a story. When I was your age, she said, one saying really scared me. It was, step on a crack and you'll break your mother's back. That does sound kind of scary. That's terrible, said Amelia Bedelia. But it isn't true, said Miss Edwards. Just like breaking a mirror doesn't give you bad luck. Breaking a mirror is bad luck, said Clay. Bad luck for the mirror, everyone agreed. Amelia Bedelia laughed hardest of all. She felt a lot better. As Amelia Bedelia was walking home, she saw a crack in the sidewalk. Bad luck, ha! She said, she stepped on the crack. She stepped on every crack she saw. When she spied the biggest crack of all, Amelia Bedelia stomped on it. Then Amelia Bedelia turned onto her street and she stopped in her tracks. I wonder what she sees. It seems to have surprised her. Her eyes are very big. There was an ambulance in front of her house. Amelia Bedelia raced home. Breaking the mirror was an accident, but she had stepped on those cracks on purpose. Mom, yelled Amelia Bedelia, I didn't mean to break your back. The ambulance was pulling away. 
Mom! cried Aunt Amelia the Delia. Mom! Amelia Bedelia, said her mother. I'm with Mrs. Adams, sweetie. Amelia Bedelia whirled around. Her mom was with their neighbor. Her back was fine. Amelia Bedelia ran to her mom and gave her the biggest, longest, strongest hug ever. Ouch, honey, said Amelia Bedelia's mother. Do you want to break my back? No, never, said Amelia Bedelia. You just missed the excitement, said Mrs. Adams. I got a ride home in an ambulance after my checkup. Are you okay? asked Amelia Bedelia. I am fine, said Mrs. Adams. Knock on wood. Then Mrs. Adams knocked three times on her porch railing. Tomorrow, Amelia Bedelia would add knock on wood to the list her class had made. Today, worrying about luck had worn her out. Amelia Bedelia thought about her family and her great friends. She thought that the mirror Mrs. Adams gave her was cool. Amelia Bedelia felt like she was the luckiest person in the world. The end.